Tech Revision with Mrs. Swanee Pooh. <laughs> Hi Year 11, today we're going to be focusing this video on softwoods and hardwoods and thinking about what the difference is between the two different types of trees and then hopefully this will help you in uh, the multiple choice section of the exam um, allowing you to easily identify which are which. So really, really quickly, um, we've got some words at the bottom and we've got two different types of trees. We've got hardwoods, we've got softwoods. So um, you might want to pause and think about which word relates to which. I'm going to go through that now. So coniferous trees relates to softwoods. That is the kind of scientific name between, uh, behind that type of tree. And then we've got deciduous, which is hardwoods. So if it's a deciduous tree, it's a hardwood. If it's coniferous, it's a softwood. Um, softwood trees have needles, so they look a little bit like Christmas trees rather than uh, normal leaves. And softwoods are also evergreen, meaning they keep their needles all through the winter. So they are evergreen. They're green all the way through the year. Hardwoods have broader leaves, so more um, kind of the leaves that you would expect to see on larger trees. And they lose those in the winter. So in the wintertime, when you look outside and you see a tree with no leaves on it, it is likely that that is a deciduous tree. And deciduous trees are hardwood. So very, very quickly, there are a couple of little um, differences between the two. Do not make the mistake that all hardwoods are hard and all softwoods are soft. You need to um, realise that, the, 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 that on the majority that does tend to be um, correct but there are always exceptions uh, one exception is balsa wood which is extremely soft and very very easy to dent but it's actually a hardwood so hardwoods do tend to be darker in color they tend to be a bit heavier because they grow quite slowly they tend to be denser so the grain on the wood tends to be closer together meaning making it more heavy they are definitely more expensive because they uh, take so long to grow and they're much higher quality. They last a long time. So if you were to make a piece of furniture from a hardwood, it is much likely that it would survive a very, very long time throughout lots and lots of use. Uh, in contrast to something like a softwood, a pine cabinet or something from uh, a softwood tree might be more easily damaged. Um, hardwoods quite often have um, some like natural weather resistance. But a big issue with hardwoods is they definitely have more environmental impact, meaning that because they take so long to grow, over 100 years, sometimes even longer, um, when they're cut down, obviously we need to wait another 100 years until we have a tree of the same um, size. So they tend to have more environmental impact. Softwoods are lighter in colour. They are uh, usually more lightweight, so less dense than hardwoods. They're less expensive. They last for um, they last for a you know decade, ten years. They last over that, but they won't last as long as something made from hardwood. Um, quite often, they need to be treated to be left outside. There are some exceptions, and they tend to have less environmental impact because um, if we've learned about something called the FSC in a previous lessons which is the forest stewardship council and that that um, organization looks after forests and makes sure that when things are cut down they are planted um, again so that it can be a proper renewable resource rather than something that um, you know think like the, the obvious example would be the rainforest which is not being managed sustainably which is being cut down in huge amounts and all of those trees will be most likely hardwoods um, so it would take hundreds of years to recover okay so you might want to make a note of this as we're going through uh, these are the softwoods that you need to know so you would most likely in the exam just need to be able to identify this in a multiple choice question you know which one of these is a softwood um, or it might ask you, you know which one of uh, these materials might be suitable for this or something like that but just try and remember um, which, what category they fit into, as well as maybe one property and one use. So pine, 
it's relatively cheap is not a good word for me to use you can tell me off about that inexpensive is probably a better word it's quite strong um, it tends to be used for um, less expensive furniture but it has a lot of knots in it so it um, there can be quite a lot of the little brown kind of circular knots which can um, cause issues when you're making things because quite often they um, they fall out those little knots and they can be more difficult to work with so cheaper furniture sorry more inexpensive furniture fences and construction larch larch is an interesting material the one thing that i'd get you to try and remember about larch is that it's good for outdoors because it's resistant to rot so things like fences um, you can see it's got similar uses to the one above but things like sheds and fences and outdoor um, applications um, because it's resistant to rot larch is really good for that and spruce uh, spruce is another softwood um, it's used a lot in construction and the reason being it has a good strength to weight ratio um, it's not particularly durable um, if it was if it was being um, you know in contact with things but it's relatively hard um, and quite often used in musical instruments because it gives quite a nice sound um, and has those uh, structural applications because of its strength to weight ratio. So that's spruce. Right, these are the hardwoods that you need to have an awareness of. So we have oak. Oak, if you remember the um, oak furniture land, it is expensive, high quality, tough, is a durable material it finishes really well as in you can put like a varnish or a wax finish on it and it looks beautiful because it's got a really amazing looking uh, grain on it um, good for flooring because it is tough and durable so this is your more expensive furniture you wouldn't paint um, hardwoods you wouldn't paint them and cover them up with color because you want to see that natural look of the material underneath mahogany not my favorite material but it's got this really rich dark color it's very expensive because it's coming from the rainforest so it is used for very high quality furniture it tends to be quite easy to work with but it gives a very particular color because of this like richness to it beach beach is a really good one to remember if you see anything to do with kitchen items or toys or anything like that beach is a good material because it just doesn't dent easily it's very hard um, it's got a very close grain so it's good it's like quite easy to clean because lots of dirt and grime doesn't get into all of the gaps in the material um, and it has this unique feature that you can actually steam it steam beach and you can bend it into the shapes of chairs but this is the one you want to talk about um, anything to do with children's toys or kitchen utensils, chopping boards, beach is going to be your one to remember. Balsa wood, this is the one that is uh, the exception to the rule, the rule. It is so soft you could push your fingernail into it really easily, you could snap it super easily, it's very low density, it's very very soft, so it's good for things like modelling with, like these little aircraft, uh, little plane models and gliders, um, and um, but it is a hardwood and the last one on this um, PowerPoint is ash it's very shock resistant so one of my A-level students anyone who likes Pokemon out there and thinks of the main character called ash if you think of um, Pikachu shocking and using his electricity it's shock resistant so that's a uh, try and get you to remember um, that material it's really, really good for things like baseball bats, cricket bats, uh, hockey sticks and the handles on um, tools that are going to need to be hammered in. So, for example, chisels um, and the handles on hammers because it, it absorbs that shock very well. It's not going to splinter or crack if it was um, subjected to a sudden force. OK, that was a really quick one. Just to get you thinking about the different types of um, timbers, look out for more videos um, later today, but um, that covers all of the main materials for um, woods and what you need to know for the exam. See you on the next one.